on Mind, Set, Go. Thanks for agreeing to come down to this fitness center with me. All right. We're here at one of Canada's sporting hubs for Olympians and Paralympians. I'm looking forward to this punishing session in exchange for you doing a workout with me. All right, here she is. Wow, a spin bike can feel a little bit awkward, but I'm, I'm willing to give it a go just for you. Ness apparently hates spinning, so <laughs> it's a give and take relationship. I've brought my sports assistant, Eva. She trains full time. Hi, nice great to meet you. She'll help me out with some of the exercises. All right, here's the bike. Okay. All right, I am in your mercy. <laughs> Just start pedaling. Really, really fast. Go, 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 go. Wow, this is difficult. Keep going, keep going, keep Did please. I mention I hate You're... spin bikes? <laughs> it's like pedaling through pudding. <laughs> <sighs> All right. <laughs> oh, I think she's enjoying this far too much. It's hard to lose control, right? It really is. <laughs> I may be ranked first in the world in javelin, but a spin class can really make me struggle. Talk about check your ego at the door. <laughs> now it's my turn. I expect a good payback. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I know when I'm doing exercise, it's really hard to not let the outside world creep in to distract me to get those negative voices talking, and I'm sure everyone's looking. So we're gonna go through six exercises with you having eye shades. These eye shades are completely blacked out. I like to use blindfolded as an analogy for this journey. Putting yourself in a vulnerable position and trusting yourself that your goal is more important than anything else. Can you see anything? No. <laughs> Dawn, I'm gonna get you to take my arm, my left arm. Do you trust me? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna do a walking lunge. Step left, bend the right knee down so it almost touches the ground, and upwards, step right foot forward. Oh, you're going off to the side. <laughs> I can't I would see. I really have to trust Ness so I don't fall. The next exercise I'm gonna get you to do is a push-up off the bench. Take your right hand and left hand and place them on the bench. You're gonna take your legs and slide them backwards, and you're actually lowering yourself down, chest to the bench, and back up. The most challenging exercise for me was actually the push-ups. Yes, yes, come on, go on. <laughs> I'm not getting up. At one point, I couldn't even get up. Give me one. Come on, come on, get all it all the way, get it all the way. And up. <laughs> awesome, way to go. As a Paralympian, we face really unique sporting challenges, and I think the mindset has to be, you're not going to sacrifice that goal because the pathway there is blocked. You find another way, and that's about this inner drive, this determination to reach that podium, whatever your podium is. If it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. You can now take your glasses off. Ugh. Did the outside world affect, or were you really busy focusing on yourself and, and movement? I was really just trying to focus on not falling, so honestly, like, none of that even came into play. That's awesome. Yeah. We're both sort of out of our comfort zones today, but when I had the glasses on, it was to realize that I'm doing this for me and not to worry about what other people possibly are thinking. 